So like terms is a method that we use for simplifying expressions and equations using addition and subtraction. So what we need to find is terms that are like, that are similar, and then we can combine them using addition and subtraction. So this is our first example of like terms. Now what makes them like is that they have the same variables attached to them. Okay, so you can see both of these terms have an A. They have one A each, okay? So we can combine them together because they are alike, they are similar. So if you have three A's and five A's all up, you would have eight A, right? So what gets added together are the coefficients, okay? Now the reason I know they're getting added is because of this sign in the middle. Okay, so you need to look at the variables to determine if they are alike. Then you look at the coefficients and the sign to determine what you do with those numbers. For this one, we have three terms. So one term, two terms, three terms. So what we need to do is determine what is alike. So we can see this has AB, this has just an A, and this has AB. So the ones that have AB, they're alike, they are similar. So, so positive 6AB and negative 3AB are alike. Now you'll notice that I included the negative sign out the front. And then negative 2A is not alike, okay? It's not alike terms of the other two. So what we're gonna do is these are going to be combined and this is going to stay as is because it's got nothing to hang out with. So what we're gonna do is we've got a six here and we're taking away three. So six take away three is gonna leave us with three A, B. And then I'm just gonna put the negative two A afterwards. All right, so this time we've got four terms, one, two, three, four different terms, and we need to determine what is like and what is not. So I can see I've got 5C here and positive 7C. So they both have a C. They have the same amount of, um, they have the same variable attached to it or the same pro numeral. And then I can see I've got negative 6 and positive 15. Now they are like because they don't have a um, pro numeral or a variable that goes with them. So these are like as well. So we can see that these are gonna to go together and what's gonna happen is they're gonna get added because five C plus seven. So five plus seven is 12 C. And then here we've got negative six and we're going to add 15 to it. So you're starting at negative six and adding 15 or you're starting at 15 and taking away six. It'll give you the same result. So that will give you positive nine. Now these can't be simplified any further because they're not like terms. So that is your simplified answer there. For this last one, you can see we've got four different terms and you can see that we've got a lot of Ds and a lot of Es. So again, we need to find what is like. Now this one's a little bit trickier because some of the things are a little bit um, misleading. So you can see 4DE and you can see 5ED. Now they actually do have the same pro numerals. Now just because they're not in the same order doesn't mean that they're not the same. They're just in a different order. So we can say that this is like to this. Don't forget to include the sign out the front. Now you can see negative 3D and positive 6D squared. Now these are not like, because this is really saying, this is really the same as 6DD because D squared is the same as DD. So they don't have the same pro numerals. So they are both different to each other. Okay, so this is different to this. So the only things that can actually be simplified are the bits in red. Okay, so in red, we know we're going to add these because we're starting at four and then we're adding five. So four plus five is going to be nine D E. Generally we write the pro numerals in alphabetical order, but it doesn't really matter. Then you're going to just put on at the end the things that didn't have um, any like terms to go with them.